What's up, guys? This is a different video. Out here working on the boat, and thought, you know what? I might as well share this with other people, and maybe they will learn something from it. If not, then I made a video, right? So here you go. All right, I got, I got the new tracker, and we've been doing a lot of upgrades. Got the rods and holders. I just put these rod holders on. Got a tournament. We're gonna have to have a few more rod holders, so I threw them on. Um, but I got a recall for wheel bearings, and it says that the wheel bearings are failing under normal use. So what? What the paper said was to go to my local Bass Pro. It would take 15 minutes per side. I'll be in. I would be out. Called Bass Pro. They don't take appointments. They said you got to drop the boat off and between two weeks and two months. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to be without the boat for God knows how long during the best time you have it. Uh, we'll deal with it in the wintertime. But I have a tournament in Sioux City. Basically what's wrong, I've already did this one, I should, I'll try to do the other one before, but this hole right here was where it was, and I moved it to this hole. Still, still got play, we can still move it back and forth, but apparently they didn't get them tight enough and wheel bearings are failing. I mean, look, it's perfect. I mean, it looks good, it's all brand new grease. I am still gonna hit it with a couple squares. I'm looking at a rooster chasing a hen over here, but uh, love the boat. I just don't love the fact that they send me a paper saying one thing, and then when I call, it's the completely opposite. For just to make a trip up there would be nothing. I go shopping, come back, my wheel bearings would be fixed, but that's not how it rolls. I gotta. The paper says drive back roads without a boat. Where do I put my boat? Do I just throw it over here in the yard? I don't understand it. So, figured I would make this video. Um, it has nothing to do with checking like normal. Normally you would jack it up and you'd see if there's any wobble. There's no wobble. Apparently they're just going out. So, hopefully I make it where I'm going. <laughs> so, according to the guy at Bass Pro in Kansas, a different Bass Pro than the one that told me I had to wait forever. He said that this trailer company needs to get their ass back together. Something like that. So, All right, I'm going to put this one back, and then I'll move over to the other side and see how it is. But if we're good, I mean, it's perfect. There's no wobble, nothing. So I'm going to hit it with some grease just a tad bit because I drove it all the way down to Lake of the Ozarks and stuff, so it's due to be some, a little bit of grease. So. I just wanted to make this video that if you have a tracker boat and probably anyone that makes this trailer, which I have no idea what this trailer is, uh, they probably don't have a name on it, which I don't blame them. I don't see any, no name. It's a, just a trailer. <laughs> Ouch. We got that for some guidelines, but... Yeah, I don't see any names on it. It would be on my title, but... Well, I don't know. Alright, I'm on the other side. This one does have a little sign of... A little bit of what, grease coming out. I did lose this cap, though. And if you do happen to lose this cap, you can get four of them. You can tell it's on there and it's new. But you can get four caps fairly cheap on Amazon. This one's got some rust, but if that's from power washing and everything and not having a cap so we'll have to definitely grease that one a little better she's no wobble no wobble at all so i'll get this pin out and tighten her just a hair and then we'll re-grease but all you gotta do is tap that cap off you don't have to take your wheel off and all that so all right stay tuned all right so we are just took it out of this hole we are this much play. So I want to take it to that hole right there. And we'll put the pin back in right here. Just tight. It ain't very much. I mean, it ain't very much at all. We're going to put the pin there. It's just that simple. 
problem taking my load up, like I say, but I just can't do it. I'm paying, I'm paying so much money for this damn thing to have it sitting. Obviously, it's not going to be any good to me sitting on the interstate either, so. Doing our own maintenance. All right, I'm going to grease it up. You just hit this little greaser right here a little bit. You don't want a whole lot. It's, uh, more is not better in this case because heat will build up. So stay tuned. Alright, all I did was put on some some high temp grease and we got the better kind. I don't know. It's supposed to be good, but didn't take much. A few pumps, so I'm gonna switch over and, and grease my boat in all the places that need greased so all right appreciate you guys watching um you got a new boat might as well get your get your axles checked so thanks for watching guys just finished the uh newest upgrade of a table we got a cutting board diamond plate still gonna cut them guys off but that's why i'm leaving it for right this second just kind of seeing how she looks. She's not, she don't ride there. Only when we're on the river, I'll pop it off. I still gotta get some wing nuts. Everybody commented about wing nuts. Throw some wing nuts on. Throw some wing nuts on those guys and we're ready to roll. Those are just extra. You never know when you might want to throw a bobber or a nightcrawler off the side and try to catch some skipjack or something. So, I don't know. Just wanted to show you guys the new table. Cutting board. Should work.